Hi, welcome back. The aim of this lecture is to introduce you to multi-level frameworks. So what is a multi-level framework and how can you use it? With a multi-level framework, sociologists combine two perspectives. They provide causal explanations and at the same time they make behavior understandable. So it's erklären and verstehen combined. And the way they do this is by integrating the collective level and the individual level. So macro and micro. As we have seen, causal explanations tend to focus on the collective ecological level. An example is the idea that in Protestant societies, capitalism emerges. When focusing on verstehen instead, you look at the individual level, such as how people's values shape their behavior. Now with a multi-level framework, you can combine these two perspectives. Let's see how this works using Weber's famous study on the Protestant ethic and the spirit of capitalism. In this work, Weber linked the macro level to the micro level. And this is arrow one. He argued that with the rise of Protestantism, people's values changed. In Protestant societies, there's a stronger emphasis on hard, working hard and on saving money. And Weber then argued that these values changed people's behavior. That's arrow two. People started to work hard, they started to save more money, and so forth. And then finally, as a result of this changing behavior, a capitalist society emerged. That's arrow three. In summary, Weber proposed causal statements linking the macro and micro level. It's a very nice example of a multi-level framework in which causal explaining and subjective understanding are combined. In the end, Weber explained the ecological relationship, arrow 4, with the macro-micro relationship, arrow 1, a micro-to-micro -micro relation, arrow 2, and a micro-to-macro relation, arrow 3. Now we go into the level of individuals, and um, he was he was able to make the ecological relationship, arrow four, understandable. In other words, he was able to explain why capitalism emerges in Protestant societies. In contemporary sociology, the multi-level framework is used very often. It's also known as Coleman Boat or Coleman's Bathtub after the sociologist James Coleman. The multi-level framework is a conceptual model. So it's not yet a theory, but rather a nice tool which helps you to formulate your theory in a more systematic way. It allows you to formulate propositions at the collective and individual level and between these two levels. And it nicely combines causal explanation with subjective understanding. And finally, you can use this multi-level framework to study any sociological topic families, neighborhoods, organizations, crime, and so on. With this framework, you can study social context effects, individual level effects, aggregation mechanisms, and social dynamics. Social context effects relate the social context to the individual level. So how does the social environment affect our beliefs, for instance, our attitudes, behavior, and so on? Individual level effects are about micro level processes. For example, how do people's values and attitudes shape their behavior? Now, the theories formulated at this level are called micro models, or also theories of action, or simply micro level propositions. Aggregation mechanisms are the propositions which relate the individual level to collective outcomes. For example, how does segregation emerge from individual behavior? Or how does polarization in society, which is a macro outcome, result from individual actions? How social dynamics can refer to two different things. First, they can be about the relationship between two different phenomena, such as that Protestantism is related to capitalism. Second, social dynamics can also be about social trends. Uh, in that case, you look at the same kind of variable and study changes over time. For example, you can look at polarization and study how polarization has increased over time. So a multi-level framework 
is a nice way of combining causal explaining and subjective understanding. It allows you to study any sociological topic and look at the interplay between the collective and individual level, how human behavior is shaped by the environment and also how humans change that environment. Okay, thanks.